I recently visited an IKEA kitchen showroom and I was blown away by the amount of organizational accessories that they have for your kitchen. Let's start with corner cabinets because we might as well get that right out of the way right from the start. First we have the blind corner in all its glory. IKEA has their own version of the Super Susan which is a half moon lazy Susan that also pulls out. Now I'm not a super fan of the Super Susan, however, it is a pretty good way to accessorize and get access to that corner cabinet. If you don't like this option, you can always go purchase something else like a Magic Chef, which utilizes the space of that blind corner a little better in my opinion. However, Ikea does have a fairly nice operating Super Susan that you can incorporate into your blind corner if you have one. And next we have the classic corner base with a lazy Susan basically the thing that I loathe the most about kitchens. However, you'll be surprised that I think Ikea does a pretty good job of making their Lazy Susans workable. You can see that they're mounted on a center post and that they have pretty high side rails. This is going to help you when you're spinning that thing or your kids are just wailing on that thing, spinning it around and around and around because you know they're going to do it. It'll help stuff from not falling off the back into that zone that's basically impossible to get at. So I'm actually pretty surprised that I even think it's half decent. Good job, Ikea. See, I can be reasonable, okay? Now the next corner solution completely really took me by surprise. These things have been around for decades. I've always basically made fun of them. I thought they looked hokey. It's the corner wall unit with the Lazy Susan. I mean, really like a corner wall unit with a Lazy Susan. But if you think about it, that space on the top of that corner wall unit, if there was a shelf in there, you definitely need to have a ladder or a stool or a chair to get up and get inside of that. Even then it's a reach. But with this unit and its ability to turn around and access the stuff that's, you know, maybe still a little bit high, but not in the back, that is really smart. Plus, if something did fall off, it's right there on the bottom where you can reach it. If you're gonna go with a diagonal corner wall cabinet in your kitchen, definitely consider putting this as an option. In my opinion, drawer cabinets are the most useful type of base cabinet you can get in a kitchen, and Ikea does a great job of them. Not only do they have many options in terms of how many drawers you want in your cabinet, but they also have these incredible hidden drawer units inside other drawers. Just a really cool feature. Now these drawer dividers are a great addition to any Ikea drawer. They allow you to divide up your space, so if you want to organize things in a particular way, they make it very easy. Of course, all of Ikea's accessories are built to fit all of their cabinets and they work seamlessly with each other so that you don't have to worry about if it's gonna fit you just go grab the piece you want you can stick it in your IKEA cabinet and it's going to work effortlessly IKEA makes it really easy to plan out your storage solutions just look at these drawers on the back side of an island this is a really great use of space that maybe otherwise would go unused or if you have extra space in your kitchen where you can't fit a deep drawer, you can get these shallow drawers that give extra storage and look great. The great thing about IKEA storage solutions is that all of their pieces fit together with their kitchen cabinetry. So when you buy an insert for a drawer, it fits that drawer seamlessly and you can buy a number of different inserts and they all fit together to give you the best options for organizing your kitchens. You can see here that all of their different bins and all of their cutlery trays, all these inserts just fit together so that you don't have to wonder if it's going to fit when you get home. You know that they're all made to fit these cabinet drawers and it's a great way to organize your space. It's one thing to have a really great looking kitchen, but you also want it to be functional and IKEA make it really easy to do this. These wall cabinet drawers are another great example of how you can utilize space that normally you wouldn't use to make it a little more functional in your kitchen. They look cool too and sometimes you just need Need that to break up the look of your kitchen maybe you have all wall cabinets and you want something that's a little bit different this is a great way to do it let's talk about pullout options no kitchen is complete without having pullouts where needed now everyone knows that I love to have pullouts inside a pantry you shouldn't have a pantry unless you do have pullouts to make that unit very functional and IKEA has great solutions for pullouts, and in their showrooms you can see that they utilize these in a number of different places. From pullout towel racks, though I don't recommend storing damp towels inside a cabinet, to vacuum cleaner pullouts, IKEA has all the bases covered. So if you have a particular problem, IKEA likely has a solution to help you. The best way to find some of these is go to IKEA, go to the showroom, start opening up doors, and you'll be blown away by the amount of options that they actually have. Now I know, and you know, that under the sink is a real nuisance. It gets cluttered, it gets dirty, it can be difficult to organize because you have plumbing, you might have some electrical unit, you might have a garburetor, you know there's a lot of stuff under there. IKEA has a few great solutions. This one I particularly like where it's just a false drawer 
where it looks like a two drawer bank, but the whole thing pulls out as one drawer and they have units there for your garbage or you could actually put anything in there that you want. But having some type of pull out system underneath that sink cabinet is really, really smart. And of course, this only works if your plumbing is coming out through your wall or you have it positioned in such a way that it's far enough in the back of the cabinet that it doesn't interfere with the mechanism. However, if that is the case for you, this is a great way to do a drawer. Instead of having two doors that open, just the whole thing slides out and everything's right there for you. Now, if your plumbing is coming up through the floor, you can also do this. You can have one or two of these modules that pull out that you can keep your trash in or other items if you want and it's a great use of space making the sink cabinet a little more accessible and a little more of a joy to use I guess they're so annoying and so just full of crud that anything that you can do to make that better is a thumbs up for me now the only pullout that I'm not a super fan of in Ikea's whole lineup are these wire basket pullouts that you can put in a base cabinet or in a pantry they are a little rickety they don't feel as solid I don't think they're made by bloom Bloom makes all their other drawer rail systems and they operate smooth and, and just really, really nice. These are a little bit hard to manage and I'm just not a fan of wire rack baskets. But other than this, I think that IKEA has all the bases covered for you if you want to add organization to your kitchen and it all just works seamlessly together. There's a few other things that caught my eye as I was looking through the IKEA showroom. These insert racks for wall cabinets are very useful to divide up the space in a way that just a single shelf cannot do. So that you can have taller items next to two tiers of shorter items is a great way to utilize the space. This island unit really caught my eye. I don't know, it just looks sharp with the wood top and the black paint with the drawer, extra storage, extra work surface. If you have space for something like this, or if you need something that's movable in your kitchen, they have you covered in this area as well. These tilt out storage bins are really cool. Kind of kicking myself that I didn't buy a few while I was there. I think these would be useful in a variety of different ways, not only in your kitchen, but other rooms in your home. Shallow pantries are the coolest because everything's right there. You don't even need to pull out. You don't need to be digging. You don't have to worry about reaching for something. It's all at arm's reach. And Ikea has lots of solutions for these types of cabinets. In fact, you can use wall cabinets to basically do the exact same thing by stacking them on top of each other. But if you have space in your kitchen where you can't fit a full depth pantry or a full depth cabinet, you can go with a shallow depth unit that makes the space complete, adding organization to your kitchen, adding lots of extra storage, and really rounding out your kitchen design to be perfect for you. You can even design your own kitchen at Ikea, but don't do it without watching this video first, or check the link below and I can do it for you.